Hi, Alex here from Sonic Reaction Studios. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Many thanks. Today, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Sekaijo, which is a free MIDI sequence editor with lots of facilities. We'll just click on the link here. I'll leave a link to this page in the description. Here's the download happening. And when the download's finished, we'll just click on here to open the file. Right, now we can see the zip file here. And if we double click on that, we can see what's inside the zip file. And we'll just select that and drag it to a folder of our choice. So Kaijo is portable, so we can put it anywhere, even on a thumb drive if we wanted to. I'm just putting it into this demo folder and once it's in there and unzipped, we'll double click on sekaijo.exe to get it started. And that's us ready to go. When you start sekaijo, it comes up with a file setup for you to start creating right away and it also sets up the Microsoft Wavetable Synth as a playback device. So if you have any MIDI files already, you can load them and play them back. Let's just try and do that. Open, and let's try this one, your song. And if we play this, we should actually be able to hear it coming out. Here we go. That's it. Okay, that's great. But if you actually want to create your own sequences and your own songs, you have to set it up for at least an input device and if you've got some playback devices for those as well. So let's go back to our initial sequence. I'll close this other one off. And before you start the setup, in fact, before starting Sekaijo at all, make sure that all the external MIDI devices you want to use are connected up to your PC and switched on. So let's go and set up our MIDI devices, our MIDI in device first. Now I've got a MIDI keyboard, which is this USB MIDI controller. And the other thing I like to use is this Korg Nano Pad which is good for entering drums. As far as MIDI out devices are concerned, you can see the GS Wavetable synth is there already. I've got a Roland SC8850, and it's got four parts, each with 16 MIDI channels. So I'll set up parts A and B. And I've got Roland FA synth, so let's set that one up. And the other thing that's useful to set up is the MIDI instrument definitions. I'll show you why that's useful in a minute or two. So on the Wavetable Synth, Sekaijo has already set up an instrument definition for that. For the next port, let's set General MIDI Level 1. There's two levels of General MIDI, 1 and 2. You'll find that if you select your instruments from level 1, you'll produce a sequence that will work on most synths. Sekaijo comes with all these instrument definitions, including my SC8850. So I'll set up an 8850 for port 3. Now on port 4, I've got a Roland FA synth, and Sekaijo doesn't come with an instrument definition for that. However, Sekaijo instrument definition files are compatible with Cakewalk's instrument definition files. So if you can find a Cakewalk ins file for your instrument, it will work with Sekaijo. I did some trolling about on the internet and I found some instrument definition files for my Roland FA synth. Here they are here. So I'm just going to copy them into my Sekaijo instrument folder. There's the files Sekaijo comes with already. I don't actually have a Korg Chrome, so I'll just get rid of that. And 
I don't have one of these either, so it can go two. But here's my FA, which I do have, and I'll copy them across to the instrument folder. Now, when I start up Sakaiju, I should find the FA instrument definitions. Let's have a look. MIDI out devices, instrument definition files, and there's my FA synth. I'll set up port 4 as FA tone. Okay, that's great. So I'm now ready to create a few MIDI sequences. That's my MIDI keyboard. So let's just try and record something. Press the record button. Okay, that'll do. Now, just to show you how the definition files are used, you can see this is actually going out on port one just now. Now I'll switch to port two and my SC8850 with General MIDI one. If I right click on the program number and click search and select voice, It'll give me a list of voices in the instrument definition file for that port. So these are all the voices for GM1. And I can search. Let's look for piano. There's my choice of GM1 pianos. Now let's set this to port three. You'll remember I set this up for 8850 instruments. And now, you'll find I've got a lot more voices to choose from. There's all my different pianos, lots of pianos. Try the rock piano. You'll notice that besides program change, it sets up control change zero and control change 32 which are bank select MSB and LSB respectively. If I choose my FA synth, there are lots of pianos. And they each use a unique combination of bank select and program change to select the correct instrument. Now let's go back and open your song again. You remember we were using the GS wavetable synth. I'll go up and set port A to the SC8850, part C, and this sequence is now using the SC8850. This is Alex from Sonic Reaction Studios, and I hope this video has been interesting and useful. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to my channel and providing feedback. Thanks for watching.